Hi guys. Well, <laughs> I have been struggling trying to force myself to uh, even film lately. Um, you know how you you want to do something so desperately. It just kills you to see opportunities pass you by and um, everybody else around you, not a problem. They get it, they move on, they're lucky. I'm not. That was one thing that I was just not born with. I mean, there are some people out there that are just lucky across the board like I have a family member who um, everything just falls her way she meets a lot of stars and they give her stuff or invite her places or she has friends who just gives her stuff and um, she has like when she works she just magically can make a lot of commission and Oh, she does not know what it's like to have bad luck. She was going on a uh, mission trip and she needed to uh, collect, you know, several thousand dollars to be able to go. Now, at the time, Beanie Babies were huge. She sat down at the mall and lo and behold, under the bench was one of the dinosaurs or whatever that she turned around and sold for several hundred dollars to put towards her trip. She went to open a bag of chocolate chips and she was wondering why there were no chips in the cookie. Well, turns out if you got a cookie or a bunch of cookies like that, you won what, I don't know what it was, it was like $1,000 or $2,000 or whatever. So, I mean, good things just happen to her. And it's not that she's a great person, at least not to me. <laughs> um, she's been rather nasty sometimes, but um, me, the one thing I've always wanted to do is be an actress. On the screen, on the TV, anything. I love to act. And I'm good at it. I mean, I've done um, theater. It's what I went to college for. I know, not the best choice for a degree, but you know, I was young and still believed I could do anything. Um, but um, I've been in a lot of theater productions, uh, community theater, dinner theater, everything. And nine times out of 10, probably more so, 9.5 times out of 10, I will get a leading role. Um, I probably, out of 50 plays that I audition for, I am cast in 45, 46 of them, and they are always substantial roles. Um, there's been one or two plays that I got a lesser role, but I got it. And I am really good. I can do accents. I used to be able to remember all my lines, and now it's hard for me to focus on what my address is. <sighs> Yay, age. But <sighs> I just have always wanted to do this professionally. And I've just fallen short of the opportunities. Um, I was in San Antonio, and they film a lot there. The one movie 
that I did get in as an extra. I even went to the costume fittings and, and that kind of thing with my brother, actually. The weather was bad and they canceled filming, so we didn't get to do that. Um, there's a lot of places that I've lived where they film things, but they do that before I get there or after I leave. And I, what was the tipping point was they were filming Holland, Michigan in Clarksville. Now why they didn't pick Holland, Michigan to film Holland, Michigan is beyond me. But they decided to come to Clarksville. Where I lived for 15 years and there was nothing there to do creatively. They did have a dinner theater um, for a few years and I participated. Um, but then they ended up selling the building and tearing it down. So there was a long stretch of time where, oh, sorry, there's, there's no theater around here. And now that I've moved, <laughs> they're filming a movie. And they wanted extras, but only local extras. It's just that was the one thing I'm good at. The one thing. And I just keep missing the bar. I, it is so depressing. It really is. I mean, there for years when I was stuck in Clarksville with nothing to do, um, I created my own videos. Um, I was various superheroes, and um, I, I wrote, I directed, I filmed, I starred in, you know, everything, um, and that was fun. And I got paid for it, so I can say I'm a professional actress because, you know, I still get residual um, checks. But it's just, I don't know, I've always wanted to be in an actual movie with, with professional stuff. Lighting and cameras and costumes and makeup and there, there's nothing more exciting than having your makeup done and telling or having somebody tell you, okay, this is what I want you to wear and it's so exciting. It was the one thing that I've absolutely wanted to do for the rest of my life. I mean, ever since I was small, that's what I wanted to do. And I was always told that I wasn't pretty enough. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't thin enough. And, you know, that, that eats at you. It really does. I mean, you try to overcome it, and you try to prove them wrong, and you try to go in with um, a positive mindset, but those words just, you know, in the back of your mind will, won't go away. Um, I did a podcast uh, with Joey Calvo, um, live with Joey Calvo. You can um, check it out. Um, I'm not sure where, I'm sorry, uh, but he interviewed me and he um, advertised it on his um, website, Facebook page, whatever, and um, somebody asked, well, what's she been in? And because, I mean, you know, to the average Joe, my name just doesn't 
pop up. It's not a household term. And um, he told he told her, and she came back with, "Oh, I thought she was a real actress." And what is your definition of a real actress? Because I work my butt off when I'm in a play. Even though I'm not getting paid for it, I'm memorizing lines, I'm taking out time, I'm up there performing, I'm dressed in the role, I have the role's mindset, I'm, I am acting. When I did my, my videos for superheroes, I did the same thing. I mean, what exactly is your definition of actress? Because no, I'm not Nicole Kidman, I'm not um, Sandra Bullock or Julia Roberts or, you know, there's a lot of actors out there that nobody knows because they're extras or secondaries or, you know, it doesn't mean they're not real. And yet, those words just keep bouncing around in my brain, and it hurts. It's depressing, especially to know that for years I was right there. And now that I moved, now it all comes in. Uh, movies are starting to film there, and I'm not a part of it live there anymore. So, Gunner, that's my boxer panting. Puppy dog. So anyways, I was just kind of having an off day. Thought I'd share. Misery loves company. But, um, but yeah. Yeah. That's been on my mind, and I, I mean to film more, I really do, and um, if you subscribe, please, please subscribe, um, whenever I do post a new video, you'll be one of the first to know, um, and I will try to do that more, it's just that I've been so depressed lately, and so swamped with work, and if you guys actually deal with depression, you know it's really hard to motivate yourself to do something like this, that it's all you. You're the one who films, you're the one that edits, you're the one that posts, and when it's all you and you don't feel like you, then it just kind of falls to the wayside and um, you just curl up in a ball and want to forget you exist. Because apparently everyone else has. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, I hope your day is better than mine. And um, I will see you next time. Bye, guys. Oh, watch out. Okay. Watch out.